What's up, whiskey fans, and welcome back to another video. This time we head over to Ardnamarken and we taste a bottle offering from them. So let's hit the intro and let's get tasting. Folks, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we head over to the Western Highlands to the Ardnamarken, Ardnamarken, sorry, distillery. And today we have the Rum Cask Release. This is a Highland single malt Scotch whiskey made up of a 58% peated whiskey and a 42% unpeated whiskey. So looking forward to to this bottle. I haven't I've just broken the seal on it. I haven't opened it yet, so I am very excited to to taste this whiskey. This whiskey was distilled in 2016/2017 slash and it has been matured in X bourbon barrels and then has been finished in Jamaican Caribbean rum barrels for two and a half years. There are only 8,334 bottles available worldwide and I'm lucky amongst all you whiskey drinkers to get my hands on a bottle. In South Africa our allocations are very very small so we are lucky to get something like this. It is a non-chilled, filtered and naturally colored whiskey. And as you can see by the whiskey, it has a beautiful golden amber color to it. So I cannot wait to pour myself a dram and see what we get. Now, according to Ardnamurkin, on the nose we're looking for a ripe apricot, a heavily salted cashew, vanilla and dried banana. I get a lot of oak with this one. can softly softly taste the apricot I mean sorry he knows the apricot a little bit more than apricot maybe a little bit of stone fruit as well I can't really smell the salted cashews but there is something else there You can definitely smell the peat. The peat is one thing that stands out very, very well there. I get more of like a like a brininess, sort of like a seawater, salt water kind of a nose. So on the palate, we're looking for candied grapefruit. How do I pronounce it? I'll try to learn <laughs> the pronunciation before I made this video. Stratatella ice cream, red cedar, nerds candy, buttercream icing, and another hard name is Kai Shishman, which is a German mini pancake. Uh, so that's quite a mouthful of what you're supposed to get in this in this flavor profile. But let's cheers. That peach is something you taste first. It really, really like is the star of the show. If you don't like peat, this might not be for you. But if you do, definitely give this bottle a try. I 
can't really get any ice cream in there. It does have a very like earthy taste. I'm getting a lot of I'm getting a lot of saltiness on the palate, not really on the nose, but on the palate. Nerds candy. From the description, I expected it to be a little bit more sweeter than what it is. But it's very earthy, very sort of oaky, um, a touch of vanilla on the palate. And at a 55% ABV, it doesn't have that much of a burn to it. It's actually really, really mild at 55% at 50, ABV. Definitely, when they say red cedar, I don't really know what cedar wood is supposed to taste like, but you can definitely, this is very wood strong in the palate. Um, I think maybe the rum casks kind of break it down, but it's definitely peaty, oaky. And we're looking for a medium to long finish. So it does definitely have a long finish. I'd say more longer than medium. It's just really like sitting here at the moment, which is fantastic in my opinion. I do kind of does have sort of like this lingering banana sort of type of flavor. Maybe not banana, maybe a little bit more tropical fruit. You know, your bananas, your mangoes, maybe somewhat, I don't want to say coconut, but there's something there. That I just can't put my finger on. But this is a absolute stunner. Um, like I said, at 55%, yeah, 55% alcohol, it is really, really soft on the palate. It does have a little bit of a lingering burn, but it's there for doesn't linger for long. Um, a bottle like this will set you back roughly around a thousand five hundred rand, or roughly between seventy-five to eighty dollars. So, not a bad price for the bottle. I would say a fair price given the given the flavors. As a whole, this is actually a really good whiskey. I really actually have enjoyed tasting this this tram i do have the what is it the cask strength release on the shelf over there which i've also yet to open but i will open that one really really soon it's actually opening up a lot more i think if you just were to let this stand for a little bit longer and obviously i've just opened the bottle but let it stand for a little bit longer and maybe just a fine drop or two of water i think you have yourself an absolute winner here mm, so flavorful guys this is the ardnamurkin rum cask release i would strongly recommend if you are able to get yourself to one of those 8334 bottles i would strongly suggest that you do um yeah and thanks again for watching it has been an absolute pleasure over the last year bringing you content about whiskey and everything there is to know about whiskey so please keep subscribing keep watching 
And if you have any recommendations or comments, please put them in the comment section below. I love to hear from the viewers and all the questions. So yeah, until next time, slunch up.